Okay guys, uh, here's where my build is. I really appreciate you uh, considering helping me out with, uh, with the build on the uh, Lone Star Classics 427 SC Cobra. Uh, I'm going to walk you through what I got done so far. The body, you can tell, has already got all of the holes cut out in it. It's been drilled by Joel, one of the guys that worked for those guys. He came down for a work day and helped me with that. And uh, including all of the other parts, uh, the uh, hood and the trunk. Uh, the uh, holes for the uh, roll bar and so on. So I'm going to show you as much as I can about the car where, it has, where it's at right now. The body is not on permanently. I do have a hoist to take it on and off uh, so we can lift it on and off if we need to. But all the pans and everything have been uh, put in place. Uh, I also have screwed the, uh, uh, done the bumper uh, taps as you can see. Uh, the engine has been mounted uh, and centered as, as best as I can tell. I know it was maybe a sixteenth of an inch to one side, I think is what we had measured. Uh, it is a engine factory 351 Windsor that's been put in place. Um, there are some parts, I think, to the transmission and clutch that have not been completed. Uh, but you can see, again, the tapping for the, uh, uh, for the frame for the, for the, uh, the fender on the front. I also ran a line the inside of it, so that part's done. Uh, the body obviously needs a lot of work, but I think that comes last. So uh, uh, everything else as far as the ex a, uh, suspension goes has been installed. The Willwoods uh, on all four, the steering uh, column, uh, well the steering mechanism, the rack and pinion is in place, uh, but not the steering column itself, the I did it steering column. So I'm going to move on round. Uh, we'll take a look up from up here. Maybe this will be helpful. Um, Again, just you can see the rack and pinion steering. I know there's some pieces that need to be installed here. Uh, the brake lines have been run and cut. By the way, uh, there were a few extra brake lines or clutch lines or something that were done. As you can tell, I'm not an expert here, but uh, I'll show you what uh, where Joel got on those. As a matter of fact, here they are right here. He had already bent them and put them in put them in place and then took them back out because he knew I was going to rhino line. So I've got those, I think, ready to go and fitted. As far as inside, uh, the, uh, the uh, master cylinders are over here. It's still taped up from when I did the rhino lining. Uh, as you can see, the headers have been installed. Uh, the holes have been cut. Uh, I have not installed the actual filter or the, um, excuse me, the, uh, uh, the um, mufflers yet. Uh, the engine has not been started. Uh, I do keep it covered, even though it looks really dirty right now. Transmission is installed. Uh, as well. I think everything is installed on it the way it should be. Let me show you around here. So you can see the wiring harness is one of the things that we started on and then Joel had to leave. Uh, so he did, you can't see that very well, but he did start the wiring harness. Um, a lot of the wires are up here. I don't know anything about the wiring itself. I think the body had to get on prior to the wiring being completed. When he left the body was off. Uh, and I got it back on. So, um, what else was I going to show you down here? There's a couple of lines that have already been dri uh, ran. I don't know if those are for the brake or the clutch or what those are for, but I bet you guys do uh, since you've built a few of these. Uh, as far as inside here, uh, the dash has been, for the most part, cut out. Uh, all the dash gauges are mounted. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, some of the holes have been drilled up here. Um, and then the, the pedals are installed, uh, but not the back side of them. I don't think that part's ready yet. As you can see, the floor pans have been cut out. I don't know if anything additional needs to be done here. Uh, Joel did a lot of that. Transmission is right here. Uh, I do have another transmission plate with a knob and so on. As you can see, the doors have been, uh, they have the mechanisms in those. The hinges Brian's got, and I'm going to get those from him. And then back to the wiring harness. Uh, he started doing the wiring harness, and here it is right here inside behind the dash. Again, not a whole lot done there other than just some very preliminary work done. The e-brake cutout is here. Wiring harness that he had done back there. Um, I don't know if you need to see inside of here or not, but uh, you'll be able to see that... Uh, A lot, I think a lot of the body work, the initial body work to get, get the car assembled has been complete. I told him I really needed that done before he left. The holes for the, um, uh, for the roll bar are here. Uh, I think he's even drilled 
the, the respective holes down in the body. Well, there's not one there. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that it is down there. So I'll, maybe it's all all that can. And here's under the fender well. Gas tank is in. Filter is on. Suspension is on. Mars are on. The e-brake cables are laying down there. You don't know what. Oh, I don't have the drive shaft yet. I need to get that ordered. Maybe before you come, you guys can tell me if that's something I need to do. There's a transmission. Uh, something hanging down there. I'm assuming that has to do with the brakes, but it might be something different. Cross member for the transmission. This part here. I was told to drill some holes in it. I don't know what holes to drill. <laughs> Oil pan, again suspension and what have you. Let's see here. Now if you come around the back of the car, uh, again, just uh, maybe preliminarily done. Here's the wiring harness coming back into here. I wasn't sure how to wire or to route the wiring. Gas, uh, let's see here, the back, uh, back lights are drilled. Uh, by the way, I do have all the tires. I know you guys mentioned maybe me uh, trailering this somewhere, but I've got all the parts here. As a matter of fact, I do have a compressor. I do have pneumatic tools. I've got a few tools uh, here, and uh, here are all the parts. There's the, the uh, roll bar, several of the fiberglass parts that were taken out, several of the other... Uh, package uh, and parts that were purchased with the kit. <coughs> I do have a full set of tools. Of course, there may be a few tools that I don't have that are needed. I just don't know about. Gas cap is installed. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Windshield, by the way. Uh, the steering column, which I need to do a little bit more work on that. Both of the uh, the uh, mufflers are there. Uh, some of the other parts, including, uh, I don't know if you can see behind the cherry picker over there, there is the uh, um, part that I think everything screws to as far as the dash goes. And then several of the other parts are here. So I think I've got everything with the exception of a couple of door hinges. Before I go back to the car, uh, here is the hood. I have installed the hinge mechanisms for it. Radiator over there, if you can see, has been uh, assembled or subassembled. The uh, trunk has been assembled as well. There's the parts that need to go on it back here. Uh, some of the lights are down here. Have been completed to a point uh, as well. When Joel came, he was great. I mean, he just simply helped me get so many things going, but uh, we didn't really follow the manual. We were working on several things at once. Um, and so I'm not exactly sure where I should begin at this point. There's the fuel for the filling up the gas tank uh, also. A few wires down there. I'm not sure exactly what to do with those. Uh, again, another shot of the wiring harness uh, over here. And then uh, more of the wiring harness down here as well. And the front suspension is here. You can kind of get an idea of what, uh, what needs to be done yet. So, engine compartment, I think we've already done. I think, like I said, the car is not too far away. I do have the seats. I do have just to think about every single component that I would need to make the completion on the kit. Uh, so just uh, curious if uh, everybody be interested in coming down for some pizza, beer, whatever. Uh, I could sure use the help. would love to see everybody show up in a Cobra just so I could see one of these things done. Uh, very excited about having mine out on the road. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I like motorsports. Anyways, thanks so much.